What's up guys, Josh aka Gats Ocean here to talk to you about a semi-recent game with some pretty recent news. The game I'm going to talk about is called Stomping Land. So if you don't know about the game, it's pretty much a prehistoric Rust. If you don't know what Rust is, it's an action survival game with a huge emphasis on survival. Um, another game kind of like it is DayZ, but instead of with DayZ and the zombies or rust and the radiated animals, you're actually going against dinosaurs, along with the people as well. Um, really cool ideas that they have in it. Um, there still is crafting and building. You can craft weapons, you can build bases. Um, well, you can actually even make a totem pole, which kind of acts as a way to get into a guild. Just pretty cool way to stay together with a lot of people. Um, one of the even cooler ideas is you can actually tame animals. And how you do this is basically through the crafting, through hunting, um, and through even these shrines that you find in uh, these super, super dark caves. You actually gain XP, and every 50 XP you get, you can tame uh, an even better dinosaur. And um, basically, with that XP and with those dinosaurs, you can tame even better dinosaurs. And it's a really, really cool idea. <clears throat> it helps with a lot of, I guess, the PvP type stuff, plus making it more exciting going after dinosaurs you couldn't normally get by yourself. Um, yeah, man, it was a crazy cool idea for a game that I especially love because I, I, as a kid, always wanted to be a paleontologist. Um, even to this day, I still really, really love dinosaurs. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a crazy cool idea for the game. Um, I'm sure there's other things that I'm forgetting right now, but basically, let, let's move on to the news. The news is, is the game was actually taken down from Steam. Um, nobody really knows why this has happened yet. Um, and it really sucks because last time anybody's heard from the developers is they said that they were going to actually move the game over to the Unreal Engine. Nobody's heard anything from them since and that was in April or May. I'm personally holding out the hope that they are going to get back on track with the game. Um, it's so busy right now that they just forgot all about their social media and everything and that they're just 100% focused on the game. A lot of people are thinking they're just running away with money. They could be doing that, but again, I'm hoping that they're not. Um, but anyways, that's it for the news. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, have a good night, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you guys are from. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. I'm out.